right, we're here at the CCA workbench for the Academy Sports and Outdoors Rigging and Techniques with Captain Jimbo Thomas. He's gonna tell us a little bit about kingfish. You know, kingfish is one of the very first out offshore fish that most people catch because they're so close to shore and everything. Correct. But, you know, what time of the year do we normally catch all the kings down well, here in Well, we South can Florida? catch them throughout the year, but down in the southeast region in South Florida, my favorite time is April and May around the full moon. That's when we catch the most of them and the largest ones. Right. But we also have a good run typically in December, and they can turn on at any given time throughout the year. So they're up and down this coast pretty Correct. much all there, year. There's definitely uh, phases where we see more of them than mm -hmm. other times, but that can happen at any given time. Up in time. Central Florida where I live in the summertime is when we catch the great big ones because they come real close to the beach, and a lot of times they're right. on those pogey pods. And uh, how are you targeting these kingfish? I know it's different from time year to year. Yeah, well, there's a couple different ways. We control for them, mm -hmm. or we can live bait for them. Right, which, your, which is your preferred? I prefer live baiting, but that's what we, our standard technique of fishing, because you can catch a lot of other species while you're trying to catch kingfish. Mm -hmm. So we when can, you're using live baits, are you using a kite or Well, we can kite or? fish, we can flat line, we can slow troll, and we can even put deep lines down with live baits. And we want to fish anywhere from about 50 to 150 feet of water. So on the kites, we'll put a piece of wire leader on there. Mm -hmm. And if we're kite fishing for kings, we like to use a circle hook because you're going to get sailfish bites as well. And we don't want to use other hooks that might hurt, a that sailfish. Might hurt the sails. So you can use a circle hook. We got a trocar eagle claw circle hook. Mm -hmm. You want to match your hook size to what size bait you have. So whether you're using a herring, a pilchard, a sardine, a big goggle eye. You know, if you got a big bait, you don't want to use a smaller Because it gets hook. in the way. Well, it gets in the way and it just kind of overpowers the bait. Right. So what size a, wire is that? This is number five wire. Mm -hmm. You can go a little lighter, you can go a little heavier, but five is a good all around size. A lot of times after one fish though, you're gonna have to replace your wire because this is gonna be it kinked up. up right. And you don't want to risk losing a fish because of a kink. Mm -hmm. So we will pre-rig a bunch of these before we leave the dock, and then if it gets kinked up, if it's kinked up low, you can cut it and retie your hook on. If it's kinked up high, cut it off, retie. How length of a of leader are you usually using? We're using about 18 inches. I buy the wire; it's pre-cut, 18 inch. It comes in a tube; it's straightened. Mm -hmm. You can buy it in a coil as well and right. cut whatever size you want. But I buy the pre-straightened length, so we just pull out a length that is already cut to the length that we want. Tie it on with a haywire twist. You can tie a swivel on the end to your leader, mm -hmm. or you can just go straight to your leader. I like to use a, a an Albright knot. So you tie it mono, straight directly to the wire. So without using any swivels typically. Mm -hmm. but so are you afraid the swivels are going to get eat, or the swivels just cost too much? Well, I'm not, <laughs> not too worried about the price of swivels, but I, gotcha. I, I just the less tackle in the water, the better, yeah. I feel. Mm -hmm. Although if it's on the kite, a lot of that's going to be out of the water anyways. Right. But we'll use the same rig on the flat lines too, and without a swivel, all bright to 30 pound fluorocarbon. You can use mono as well. All, so our hook and for a flat line mm -hmm. or if you want to get a deep line down you put an egg sinker up there and I like to hold my egg sinker up on the line we don't have anything to demonstrate right. I put a rubber band a couple half hitches on the line slide the egg sinker up where you want it and then when you get your fish on you don't have to leader it in you can wind it and when the egg sinker hits the tip slides down you got to wind on leader how, how, how far away do you put the weight from About, the bait? We'll f slide it up maybe 10 feet up okay. off the, uh, from the hook. Now, another uh, for flatlining, a lot of times we'll use a treble hook. This is a, a king. stinger rig. Well, not even well, a, if just a single treble. Right. If you're using a big bait like a Speedo or something, or a yeah. big blue runner, you might want to put a, a real stinger rig on there. Mm. But uh, a kingfish treble, this is, a, I think, a number three, but depending on what size of bait, you want to match it again, two, three, four. Kingfish treble, which these are extra strength trebles, right. super sharp. Where and, do you hook the baits? Uh, if we're fishing out of the riggers or drifting, we typically hook them through the nose, so that way they pull straight. Mm -hmm. If you want one to go down a little bit, hook them through the back, right in front of the dorsal fin, and he'll angle down. And a lot of times, getting down a little deeper will get those bites. Oh, I, I see you've got the, the planers over there. Is that for when you're trolling Right, so when we're trolling, typically most all your kingfish bites trolling are going to be down a little bit, whether it's 5 feet or 25 feet under the surface. Mm -hmm. So we'll use a planer or a wire line outfit. Wire lines are kind of the old school. 
Yeah. Planers are a lot more popular. You can go with uh, numerous different size planers. So this is, I think, a number two, and this is a, like a four. Mm -hmm. And the bigger the planer, the deeper it's gonna get. So you hook your line, you swivel off your tip of your rod to the ring here. Right. You put a snap swivel on here with a long leader. You can use a drone spoon, which is an old, old favorite. Mm -hmm. This is a three and a half drone, which is pretty much the standard. Color is kind of irrelevant, a green one obviously, pink. Right. You can go with silver. That's what we I normally you. use. Well, or you can put a sea witch. This is a double hook rig, a sea witch was just a short piece of wire. Pink sea witch is Trolling probably action. the most popular. Put a bonita strip on here. Troll this behind your planer or your wire line. And so you got a long leader. You want to use 50 or 60 right. feet. All right. Get it back behind there. And this is going to go down. Uh -huh. So you let it out. Well, we're, we're about out of time, brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's catch some it. kingfish. I got you. Just make sure you get those things out there. And if you want to go fishing with Jimbo, where would you go? Well, you can get call us. Uh, call us is the best way. We are at 305-374-4133. Thanks, mate.